Okay, so in the last video, I gave you a broad introduction in to how I recommend reading scientific articles. And in this video, I'll go through what I am expecting for this first article analysis assignment, which is due next Tuesday. So the article in question is that one we saw in the last video, brand new, came out last week, super, super cool. Uh, the full PDF of that is posted on Canvas along with this assignment. Um, so what you'll need to do is uh, watch that video that you just watched uh, and then apply those techniques that I showed you to answer these six questions about the study. Now, I want you to answer this in your own words, not just copy and paste what's in the paper, obviously, because that will be plagiarism. But I also want you to apply what we've learned in this class to the questions that I've I specifically designed these to try to get at things that we've been looking at in the last few weeks. One of the reasons why I was so excited to see the study is because it really talks about bone formation, bone resorption, medical imaging, um, a bone strength, exercise, a lot of the stuff that we've been talking about just in the last few weeks applied to a really important problem. So um, I have a few different questions here. You will type up your responses in a Microsoft Word document and upload that to the assignment page. Now, I think the questions are broadly um, pretty straightforward. You, like I said, you will have to use your uh, use your knowledge from the class to answer these. It's some of what you'll need to know is in the paper. Some of what you'll need to know is part of the class. And I'm really looking for um, applying the knowledge that that we've gained in this class to this particular set of problems. Um, the one thing that's maybe beyond that is number six. And what I'm asking you to do in number six is take a look at the list of all the biochemical markers that were measured in this study, and then just pick one of them, whichever one you want, and do a little bit of background research and explain to me why that biochemical marker might have been in this uh, study. And then if that biochemical marker goes up or down, is that like good or bad? So some of those biochemical markers are indicators of bone synthesis. Some of them are indicators of bone resorption. So maybe explain to me um, if that thing goes up or down, is that good or bad? Um, you might be able to use some of your newfound scientific article um, reading skills if you uh, search Google Scholar specifically for whatever biomarker you choose. And then just skim some of the abstracts. You don't even need to read the papers. Just skim the abstract and, and uh, let me know what, what is that biomarker all about. And if it goes up or down, is that a good thing? So I hope you enjoyed this assignment. Like I said, it's due next Tuesday. Um, it will be a Microsoft Word document uploaded on Canvas. And do send me an email if you have any questions about this.